Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, episode of Hillside Gardener. And today, what we're going to do is something random. Uh, we're going to review a hot sauce. I went to the grocery store and I just picked up a hot sauce I thought looked cool. Uh, something I've never even seen or heard of before. So I figured, let's try it out and see what it tastes like. This is Walker's Wood Plenty Hot Jamaican Fire Stick Pepper Sauce. Say that three times fast. Check it out. Did I zoom in for you? Maybe not. Okay, so anyhow, uh, at the grocery store, like I said, found this hot sauce. I thought it was kind of unique, never heard of it before. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, big caveat here is I haven't read the, the uh, ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this down, try it out, read the ingredients, and tell you what I think uh, while I'm learning about it. Because uh, the way it's completely random. You know, you, if you read the ingredients, you kind of get an idea of what it may or may not taste like. If it has a lot of vinegar or garlic or salt or something like that. You're like, yeah, you're going to start preparing for it. So smell it. It actually smells like it has some kind of tomato in it, quite honestly. Uh, first impressions, but let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Get a taste on it. Eh, it's pretty thick. It's not really vinegary like a uh, Louisiana red sauce or Tabasco. So let's give it a shot. That's a unique taste, yeah. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say habanero, maybe tomato. Pretty salty, it tastes like a really, really spicy V8 juice. Let's read what it says here. The saying goes, old fire stick is easy to catch. Once you have had a flame in your heart, it's easy to rekindle. Yeah, right. This sauce should warm up all kinds of things. Go easy and shake well. You no, know, going easy is not gonna happen. That we shook well, so there's there's that. Uh, looks like from the uh, the bottle here, these look like I want to say uh, Scotch bonnets or maybe habaneros. Those are not cayenne peppers, so hopefully this is uh, I'm correct. I don't know what it's actually going to be in here. Uh, ingredients are hot peppers, it could be anything, water, vinegar, brown sugar. Really, I don't know. Uh, salt, definitely lots of salt. Uh, cornstarch, xanthan gum, ascorbic acid, garlic powder, onion powder, and some more preservatives, product of St. Anne's Jamaica. So yeah, so hot peppers, it could be anything. It is not cayenne, I don't believe. Yeah, I mean, Jamaica's famous for the uh, Scotch bonnet pepper. Uh, Caribbean dishes often have habanero peppers in them, so... Yeah, at first I didn't think I liked it when I took it, just uh, the initial taste, it really tastes very tomatoey, which there are no tomatoes in this at all. So that's that's kind of shocking to me because I really believe there was tomatoes in this. Huh. But yeah, the flavor is uh, it's good. The heat is not not major. It's, it's there. I wouldn't say it's any hotter than Louisiana hot sauce. Well, yeah, it is, but it's not. It's in between Louisiana hot sauce and Tabasco sauce for reference most people would uh, probably recognize. But, uh, yeah, I can see putting this on some, uh, some chicken, some rice, some kind of like that. It would be, uh, be pretty good. I wouldn't use it as a marinade. It would not probably be good as a marinade for um, grilling out or anything. But, yeah, this would be good in you know, a pot of beans or, you know, eh. yeah, well, for a random pepper review, I guess it's all right. It's, uh, it's only a couple bucks, something different. Uh, Walker's Wood, Plenty Hot Jamaican Fire Stick Pepper Sauce, three times fast. There we go. And it's not zooming in, so it's not really working out at all. But there you go. Um, there you go. So uh, there you go, random uh, hot sauce review, Hillside Gardener, trying something different. Right now my garden is in complete disarray. I have projects going on left and right. I don't want to show you anything outside because it'd just be a giant mess. But once I uh, complete everything I have going on, I believe the finished product is going to be something pretty awesome. And I will definitely show you guys what's going on, but I don't want to show you just a, a construction zone at this point. Because it's really not, it's not going to benefit you at all. And I don't really want to show it to you because it doesn't look very good at the moment. I only show what you have, uh, the best quality you possibly can present. Unless you're into seeing things that are disorderly and uh, halfway constructed. Put it that way. Um, that's all I got for today. Sorry guys, uh, I know it's been a while since I put another episode out there and this may or may not be what you uh, subscribed or tuned in for, but it's what you're going to get for today. 
Promise there'll be more content, some more gardening, more plants and stuff like that. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Hillside Gardener, signing off.